Let's go home, okay? Okay. Why do you still want to keep the empty plastic bottle? It is useless. No, it is useful. I can make anything with this. Don't you know that? No, I don't know and I don't care. Plastic. Everyone always use plastic in their daily life. And plastic can be easily obtained everywhere. But did you know what is plastic made of? And what actually is plastic itself? Plastic defined as a material that contains essential ingredients and organic substance of large molecular weight. It is also defined as polymer of long chain carbon. Besides, the word plastic is derived from plasticos in Greek, which is mean to mold. Everyday versatile plastic inspire invention to our daily life to make our life better, safer, and healthier. Plastic are utilized in the manufacture of bicycle helmet, kit safety seat, and also automotive airbag. They may be found in our mobile phone, our computer, and other electronic device that enable contemporary living. But increase in using of plastic every day can be harmful if we don't manage the plastic correctly. In order to manage our waste, we can use 3R principle. Did you know what is 3R principle? 3R principle represents reduce, reuse, and recycle. It is reducing the waste, reuse, and recycling resources and products. So, by referring of 3R principle, we can invent a new product with our plastic waste. So, we can make our life better and not harmful to our world. Do you aware of the fact that plastics are everywhere around us? Unlike other materials, plastic actually makes our life super convenient. They are disposable, they are cheap, they are lightweight, electrically insulating and so on. Not to mention our own clothes also made of plastics. It contains polyamides and also polyester. Despite all the positive things about plastics, it also has a negative impact, especially on the environment. Plastics are non-biodegradable as it cannot be broken down easily. Hence, if not disposed properly, plastic can cause pollution and also harm animals. I believe there are tons of plastic items found in our homes. Hence, instead of throwing away the plastics, we can reuse them again. So, what is the meaning of reuse? Reuse means to find new ways to use things that people might consider throwing it away. For example, snack containers can be used repeatedly. We can store or fill another snacks in the containers again and again before it becoming too damaged to be reused. Same goes to plastic bottles and other plastic materials. Plastic bottle can be reused to refill water from the water dispenser. College students usually done this and they should be pressed for doing it. After grocery shopping, do not throw away the plastic bag. Instead, reuse them. Reuse them to line the trash cans. It can keep the garbage cans clean and also it also easy to get the trash out. Not only that, we can use plastic bag for future groceries so that we don't need to pay 20 cents at the store. Plastics also can be repurposed. What is the meaning of repurpose? Repurpose means the use of something for a purpose than its original intended use. To avoid more plastic bag and to save our environment, let's start to repurpose plastics. For instance, instead of discarding plastic spoons, we should wash and keep them. After getting enough of plastic spoons, we can build plastic spoon lamp. 
So, all we need to do is to collect a light bulb, bottle, and lots of plastic spoon. Then, boom! Don't you think it is such a brilliant way to repurpose plastics? So, let me give you another example of DIY from plastic items. We also are able to make a pencil holder out of plastic bottles. Just cut the top part of the bottle, decorate it a little, and then it's done. Not only it can save money, but also save environment. What does recycle mean? Recycling is the process of converting waste materials and objects. Do you know the use plastic can be recycled? But how can we recycle it? Hmm. There are six essential steps to recycle used plastic. First is gathering waste plastic product. After collection, recycler send the plastic they have gathered to facilities where they separate the plastic according to the type. After sorting the plastic, wash the material to remove impurities. Next, material will be put into shader to reduce the plastic into fragment. The next process is to identify and separate plastic materials. Last step is compounding where recycler transfer plastic particle into materials that manufacture can reproduce. Now, you might be wondering why recycling used plastic is a great choice. After all, the process looks cumbersome and you must justify it based on its benefit. What are these benefits? Hmm. First, Plastic recycling is reduces the amount of trash that ends up in the ocean. Plastic recycling reduces the release of carbon dioxide and harmful gases into the environment. Next, plastic recycling prevents global warming. Plastic recycling also reduces the emergence of all forms of pollution. Besides, it lessens the energy that manufacturers consume in creating new products. Recycled plastics nowadays are solidly built with an outstanding finish and excellent appearance. Most plastic products are not only made of from recycled materials but when they are disposed of they themselves also can be recycled materials these are the examples of things that are made from recycled materials shampoo bottles traffic cones trash bag and kitchenware plastic serve a lot of purposes in our daily life. So, next when you throw a plastic bottle, don't throw it away. Be sure to dispose it in a way that bottle plastic can be recycled. Handle with care, plastic is everywhere. We need evolution, not more pollution. It might sound drastic, but we can't deal with your plastic. You will die and degrade, but the plastic you throw will never degrade.